Hey, and welcome to another unboxing and review in the Marvel Select series. Next up, we have a bigger figure, and it is Colossus. Let's have a look at his box art real quick. And let's crack it open and have a look. All right, so there is Colossus. He looks quite cool straight away, but we will see how his uh, articulation and all that good stuff is. But uh, will he stand here? He won't. Um, this is his, not a stand, it's a backdrop of some kind, and I'm not exactly sure how it works. I'm assuming that you just attach these somehow, uh, but I'm not sure how that works. I'll have to have a look at the box. So, I think I will just leave it be for now. Let it sit there. I don't know if they attach or they just sit around or what. So, not going to worry about that. Just going to worry about the figure here. So there's Colossus. Have a quick look at him. I like Colossus. He has a really neat design. I like how they uh, made him look in the Deadpool movie. It was quite cool. So, starting with the head. Um... He actually moves up and down good. I mean, it's nice and it's it's loose, but not loose. You know, it's, uh, I don't know what you call it, but it's good. I like that. And of course, he'll go all the way around. So good for that. And what about side to side? Well, how about that? That's actually pretty good. So thumbs up for the head there. Um, the shoulders, I'm guessing with these big uh, pieces that come out here, the his arms aren't going to go up that high and of course it's not but again it's colossus he's a big muscly dude so i'm not even sure why you would want that and yeah that piece is going to prevent that and it's not attached how weird is that his shirt is like a thick plastic and it's not really attached to him so he's not going to get his arms up very high but whatever um he has a a bicep swivel so that's nice for some extra articulation that goes all the way around just a single hinge elbow. Um, I'm not sure why they did it with a peg like this where some of the other ones it's just hidden but uh, I don't know I take a point off for that. There is that looks to be a wrist hinge for some reason whereas none of the other ones seem to have that. Uh, so it swivels all the way around and it bends. Whoops so loose in there there we go. It bends like that so bends backwards as I hit the camera and it bends forward is the other hand like that they're both fists and yes they both bend so good for that so that's good pretty decent so far um, it has an ab crunch it's kind of awkward but it's not terrible in there because the paint does go up but the fact that the the shirt piece is loose on there I'm not sure why you would do that I'm really not sure why you would not just attach that because it doesn't seem like it serves any purpose for it to be loose. But he does crunch forward a little and back a little, so that's good, which also means he will twist around. Excellent there. There's no waist swivel, but that's fine. Um, the hips, how far can he get out on this hinge? Not very because his giant legs get caught on his tiny butt so he's not going to spread out very far but that's all right I suppose because again he's a big muscly dude who's all about punching you in the face uh, the knees are double jointed so he will get a really good bend in there that's good although the knee is very awkward the way this I guess if it's his boot, I guess that's okay. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Since it's his boot, it sticks out. I think maybe it could have been a little smaller, but the knee itself has a good curvature. That's a good line, so it doesn't look too awkward. He has an, a shin swivel, which is okay, but the shape of it God, that just makes it look weird if you were to twist it. I guess if you twisted it a little, it's okay, but if you went quite a ways out, that just looks weird. And the ankles are on a rocker like this and a hinge. So he will get a lot of movement in those ankles. 
That's nice. So he should be very easy to pose since he has good articulation in the lower half and decent articulation in the upper half. So I would rate this figure probably a 7 out of 10. It's pretty good. I'd, I'd, I'd toy with giving it an 8 out of 10. No uh, pun intended, but I would toy with giving it a 8 out of 10, but I'm going to stick with a 7 out of 10. Um, he looks good. His articulation is decent, and he should pose pretty well. I don't know what the deal with his stand slash background or set piece or whatever this is, but I'll check it out on the box, see how you do it. If I can't find an answer, I'll just look online because, you know, what's the internet for? But cat videos. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a comment below, give it a thumbs up, and as always, collect what you love and love what you collect, and I will see you in the next video.